figured I'd, hello all. I figured I'd take a page out of, is it D'Angelo as yet untitled? Is that his, how does it feel? I don't know, I don't remember. But hello, uh, folks. I don't know exactly what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, but I kept getting this nagging urge to come on here and go live today. And whenever that happens, I just usually follow it because that means something needs to be said, even though I'm not sure what it is. What I can tell you is that I feel a ton of anger right now. I, you know, since Friday, I went through these stages of grief with the, with the verdict. And I was just like, at first I was literally in shock, like seriously, like I was in shock. I even posted about a thing that I was doing, you know, like a, a, a a six week group that I, you know, like I posted a sales thing. Like it didn't even like, it didn't even really, it didn't land in me at all. Like that. I was just like, I had, I had checked out, I had checked out so disembodied from the information, just checked out. And then Saturday, the heaviness and the weight of the decision started to fall on me and Sunday and today, not to mention the fact that my cycle is coming. So that's like, it's like I got smacked this way and that way with the, uh, the hormones and the feelings and the emotions. And so today I felt, I, you know, even today I was just heavy. It was really hard to move. It was really hard to, to, to concentrate on anything. It was just really hard. I could just feel the collective grief and I'm in New York, right? I'm, I'm in the safe, (laughs) I'm in the safe zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I can feel it in the air. Like it, I can feel it on me. The, the, just all of, all of it. And so I, you know, literally was just out of whack. But then this afternoon, the grief made way for this anger, this anger, but this anger that's so clear, y'all might see me crying here today, this anger that's so clear. Like it's not an erratic, like it's like, have you... Have you ever been around a very directed fire? That is what this anger feels like. And it is like, it's not even, it's beyond, I don't give a shit fire. These, these, these petty, petty bullshit arguments about what Feb- I'm on a live but do you <laughs> yeah these petty arguments about feminine and masculine energy these all of these duality polarity conversations like it's it's like Feminine energy is over it. Over it. At least the message I'm getting, right? Because I'm not really interested in telling people that they're right or wrong. I'm not interested in telling people that they should stop believing that feminine and masculine exist in a body or that only feminine exists in a body. I don't care to tell you about your beliefs. I really don't. At the same time. (laughs) All of this squabbling 
that's happening where people are choosing all of these sides even the feminine masculine argument is an example of us trying to pick a side earth has no sides the universe has no sides everything works in balance and in harmony together balance and harmony together now i will not dispute that right now there are some things that are taking place in the world in terms of people being very confused about a whole lot of shit there's a lot of confusion and that's partially by design not partially that's by design there's a lot of confusion because when you have confused people they're easily swayed and they're easily led because they have no direction people with no direction can be picked off but it's not about picking a side it's about standing firm because when you're when you're grounded like a tree you don't have to pick a side I don't have to pick a side. Trees sway, but they never leave their posts. They're grounded. We're not grounded. Blades of grass are grounded more than we are. And those little flimsy things. This verdict that attempts to control the bodies of women, of females, is a gross mistake. The repercussions of this are gonna spread so far and wide in so many different aspects that by the time most people pick it up, they will not know what happened. Because this goes beyond pro-choice or pro-life. And fuck, pro-choice people are pro-life. What the fuck? What the f- See, even, even in that, how it tries to be divisive. Who decided that? Who decided that? I don't know anyone who's not pro-life. In fact, the reason why there are people who fight so hard for abortion is because there's a chance a mother might die die if a fetus is not removed from her womb how's that not pro-life help me understand (laughs) so I don't know anyone who's not pro-life I do know that there are some pro-lifers who are for the death penalty, so I'm very confused. What lives are actually important? Because you're not really pro-life, you're pro-baby. Maybe they should change their name. No, you all, feminine is pissed. Feminine energy is, is pissed. It's not even like... Oh, nice, because see, again, people think that feminine energy means this, this soft, you know, hashtag soft life. Oh, true, that's part of it. That's not all of it. People think feminine energy is just like wafting through the forest in a very long gown. That's part of it. That's not all of it. And see, didn't nobody actually pay attention to Moana when they saw it, right? Because that's feminine energy. Did y'all see Moana? Did y'all see Moana? No, Josh. Go, go back and watch that. Hush. That's my son. Hush. Go back and watch that movie. That's feminine energy. You have treated me poorly. And so I'm going to fucking kill you. (laughs) You have treated me poorly. And so I'm going to destroy you. I don't know why people don't think this is part of feminine energy. People think feminine energy is demure. It's all about just... My nails are done in my hair and that's it. I'm soft. Or maybe I'm sexy. Huh? Feminine energy is all like I will shake my ass. 
I will fuck you good. Yeah. People forget feminine energy wields a sword and will cut your fucking head off. Feminine energy will throw waves at you, shake the earth, spew fire from her belly. And feminine energy is pissed. Pissed. I I, I feel it running through my body, these waves. And it's not just like my anger. Because like I said, I'm Kali Ma. I'm telling you, because like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in safe land. This, first of all, my tubes are tied. I've had all my kids. My, my daughters live, you know, one, one that's here in New York state with me and the other lives in another state where this is not affected. Like my family's good. So it's not about that. But I'm telling y'all. Be very prepared because feminine energy, and I'm not usually one who gets on here. I don't do this type of (sighs) predictive talk. Whenever something comes to me, I keep it to myself. I really don't like come on here and do this, but I am telling y'all, feminine energy is pissed. This was a gross mistake. But it's okay because it's, this anger is necessary. It's necessary in order to bring back balance. That's right, Sekhmet. Oh, yeah. Oshun, people only think of Oshun as like, you know, this yellow golden goddess of love. Folks don't know. I said it before on a live. Oshun was like, fuck y'all, I'm out. You're not paying enough attention to me. Deuces. And when shit started to die, you know, Obadala and Ogun and the rest of them was like, y'all, bruh, Olodumare, like, she gone, man. Like, we need to get her back. Her earth is dying. They had to they had to bring her back. So stop don't play. I am telling y'all. Feminine energy is pissed. Now, on the practical level, women. I appreciate the protest. Look at me. I'm speaking like I'm fucking goddess. But look, I appreciate the protest. <laughs> Let me. People are going to be like, this chick is crazy. <laughs> the protests are appreciated. However, you don't beg your oppressor or abuser for your humanity when it is already clear that they don't give a shit. You put that energy into the sisterhood. You put that energy into the learning. You put that energy into the growth. You put that energy into creating a network. But you don't go run out in the street talking about give me what's mine. What fuck shit is this? As though, as though that is going to be the thing. Because when y'all were out there in the pink hats, that didn't, that didn't, like, this is the shit that people do to make themselves feel better, right? I have all this energy. I got to expend it. Let me, let me create a poster. Let me go out and, 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 you know, and I get it, right? You have all this energy. So you need, you feel like you need to do something. You feel helpless, right? And this is the thing that helps you feel like you're doing Something you are missing the point of feminine energy, which is to be, to be, to be with your sisters, to do what we have always done for each other, to work quietly in the dark because that is what feminine energy does. It is silent, 
It is under the ground. It is the dark dirt. It is the earth. It is the womb. It's not noisy. It's not noisy. Earthquakes happen. Folks don't know what the fuck is going on, right? That's why they have to come up with with machines, right? Because all of a sudden, there's little tremors that nobody feels. And then, boof. Waves, tsunamis start at the bottom. You don't know what's happening until it comes to the surface. Volcanoes are moving until it comes to the surface. We work here and then we come to the surface. That is what we do. Feminine energy is in the dark. That is what we do. And we do what needs to be done and then we come up. Feminine energy is pissed. These discussions about what is masculine and what is feminine in an attempt to categorize human beings is not where the energy needs to be placed. I can't believe I said that. (laughs) It's bigger than that, y'all. And then these little petty arguments about what men do and what women do for each other. And I speak in hetero terms because that's my lane. That's my lane. But I'm sure, you know, it, there's all kinds of discussions happening everywhere. But this is so small minded. We're still so small minded. We're like tiny ants. So small minded we are. That's why this shit is happening. Because we want to be irresponsible toddlers. And we want someone else to come and fix it for us. Always fix it for us. To the women, your power has been either stripped from you or you have given it away. And now you are searching for someone else to to give it back to you. And we can no longer do that. We just can't. We cannot. Believe me when I say I understand the far reaching implications of this verdict for, uh, I hate the word marginalized. Can I say that? I hate the word marginalized. I'm not in a fucking margin. And to even begin to call me that, and I'm so tired. Look, I'm I'm coming out with it right now. Then I got to go because my son's waiting for me to help twist his hair. I would appreciate it if some of the do gooder white women would stop trying to speak for all of the brown women. We don't need you to do that. What we need you to do is really like gather your sisters together and just like get some shit straight. Because y'all need some work and we need some work. But what I don't need you to do is call me marginalized. I'm not off to the side. I'm dead center. My ancestors helped create you. I'm not marginalized. What we need to do is understand how powerful we are. All of us. Yeah, I'm so mad. I forgot my train of thought with that thought. <laughs> so, and I'm calm, right, with the festivity because that's how the feminine is. I Look, I could rage too. I could do all of that. I could do all the raging. Oh, I was saying the implications of black and brown bodies. Yes, I'm very clear on how this will and can affect black and brown women who are who don't have means I'm very clear on how this will affect white women who don't have means and Latinas who don't have means you understand what I'm saying like 
if you if you don't have funds, I don't care which side of my hand you're on. This this is going to be some some issues to deal with, right? Because if you have means, whichever side of my hand you're on, you you're going to find a doctor. Okay, let's not lump every that's why you can't keep lumping everyone together. Right? Those who have some means will find ways. Those who don't have means, however, they're the ones who we're going to need to work with. Regardless of the color of their skin. I don't want everybody over here focusing on the, the poor black women. Because you know, we're so disadvantaged and marginalized and victimized and people don't even realize that by saying that constantly over and over again you're just adding to the mentality and then y'all gonna leave the the, the white girls out over there too or or, or do they do, do all women need some help here <laughs> and i'm real pro-black like i'm 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 here from a from a black woman primarily but goddamn we all live in this country together and so we all need to work together on this all of us the far-reaching implications into the foster care system the far-reaching implications economically on this country this is about so much more than a zygote because that's what it is y'all it's a zygote whether or not a zygote continues on to be a fetus the ripple effect is going to be so wide and that's not even counting the spiritual effect that this will have on this country that has yet to atone for its debauchery, its murder, its just disregard for all life. This country has not even begun to atone for that. So feminine energy is pissed. And we have been put on notice. We, we have been put on notice. Not just this country. Because see, as this country does, because of the way it has set itself up, so does so much of the rest of the world go because this country has been positioned as such. And so our decisions have far reaching implications, not just for us, but globally because of the way we've positioned ourselves in the world. So this is not just about the United States. Feminine energy is just pissed. And we have been put on notice. So everybody going to need to get some act right real fast. For the men. For the men. This affects you. For those of you who are not prepared to pay child support. This affects you. You know what happens to men who aren't able to pay child support? In some states, your license gets revoked. In some states, you go to prison because you're not able to pay child support. This is more than just about a zygote, y'all. It's more than just about zygotes. Hmm? Men, it's time for you to learn some semen retention. It's time for everyone to maybe engage in some practices around who you allow into and onto your body. And look, I, I don't care how many people folks sleep with. That has never been my thing. You do what you do, but be clear about wh what you're doing and why you're doing it. Be conscious about it. And that has always been my stance. Be conscious about it. Men, y'all are going to need to start being conscious about it. 
conscious about the woman that you choose to lay with, conscious about the woman who see who you choose to give your seed to, conscious. Y'all gonna need to think. You can't just be running around after a big button and a smile, my good sir. Depending on the state you live in, of course. Unless you're ready to pay that child support, you see. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you may find your ass in the clink clink. Hmm? This is not just about women, y'all. This is not just about women. We're all in this boat together. So, that's all I'm going to say tonight because I'm feeling the anger. I'm feeling the anger. But that's good. It's getting out of my system, right? Because we got shit to do. We got shit to do. And I'm going to be on it. Now, I don't know if women have masculine and feminine in them. I, I don't know. And really, I, I, I don't really care. What I do know is that because I am a woman and I live in my feminine energy, and that does include me being pissed off, angry, wanting to chop folks heads off. That does include me wanting to lift things. Right. Because we as women do a lot of things that people think are masculine. So I don't know. What I do know is that I am clearly here to guide women into their feminine energy. So that's what I'm going to do. Because the clearer we are in our feminine energy, the less we have to worry about what white man daddy, you know, in the capital decides that he wants to do. Because we'll be real clear in our power. Man's laws are not feminine energy's laws. Not at all. Not at fucking all. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>